Titanic Miss. And also Happy Joe Happy, Chief Animator comes in, respectful, supreme laughter and also Marabit chimes with great divide. Now they're moving in, Happy Joe Happy at seven to four, two dollars eighty and one sixty. Favourite Big Red Roo getting out as they're all set. Big Red Roo, two dollars and one twenty, even money. They're set to go for the first. Money up to the boxes, stand by for a start. Ready and racing, beginning well in the middle with Supreme Laughter, race straight to the front by a length on Big Red Ruin, respectful on the outside. Two further back to Happy Joe Happy, followed by Titanic Miss and also there was Great Divide, followed second last by Marabit Chimes and last of all was Chief Animator. Towards the back straight, Supreme Laughter out by two. Big Red Ruin hot in pursuit, they've gapped the others. Six lengths away, third respectful. Follow the outside, Happy Joe Happy. Behind those Titanic Miss from Great Divide, they clump. Marabit Chimes next to last and two last of all, Chief Animator. To the home turn a race in two supreme laughter in front joined by big red roo supreme laughter big red roo big red roo too strong big red roo by a half on supreme laughter third was great divide from titanic miss and also marabit chimes respectful happy joe happy and last of all was chief animator 162 penrith race number one let's go to moody valley now good evening to brian markovic for race one already set Greenlight comes up and away they go, showing speed out wide as Papa Bear driven out with the whip looking for the front running. Von Trapp on the inside has tried to keep it at a can't though. Papa Bear showing too much toe. Works to an early lead early from Von Trapp. Melloray back in the field has broken up, checking Billy Billy, who dropped out to the tail with tough delivery. Dolomit on the outside gets to third, then rolls and rolls, followed by Cloudy Range. Five metres away back on the fence is Melloray. Grain store fly the running line. Back in behind them came Traverse Lobel. From the rear now, tough delivery pulls to the outside three wide, and last the fence is Billy Billy. Along the back straight and making ground now four wide is tough delivery delivery because Traverse Lobel comes out in front of him so the runs are coming early coming off the top turn the first time Papa Bear in front by a metre tough delivery now travels up to be a clear second so posted on a limb out three wide is Traverse Lobel it can't get in Dolomint has the one by one the leaders back as Von Trapp then rolls and rolls on the outside of Cloudy Range three metres away Grain Store Flyer followed by Melloray and eight metres away Billy Billy at the 1100 metres it's tough delivery on the outside working the leader back on the rail at the thousand meters papa bear on the leaders back as von trap pulling double followed by dollar mint having a nice run then rolls and rolls on the outside of cloudy range melloray four back on the fence grain store flyer handy again traverse low bell pulls to the outside trailed up in turn by billy billy out of the straight they race towards the 800 meters traverse low bell is out running three wide trailed up in turn by grain store flyer he's had a very good run they're tightly packed towards the 700 papa bear leads tough delivery by a neck Traverse low, bell out three wide, trailed up by Grain Store Flyer. Dolomint the centre, Von Trapp is held up on the leader's back, rolls and rolls, one off the rail. Billy Billy out three wide from Cloudy Range and Mallory is one off the fence and last. No more than 15 metres had cover the field towards the 400 metres they raced before the home turn. It's Papa Bear narrowly in front by a metre and a half. Tough delivery shaken up on the outside with Traverse low, bell under pressure. Von Trapp still waiting for run the leader's back, followed by Dolomint. Grain Store Flyer pulls to the outside side now four wide then billy billy rolls and rolls cloudy range and mallory around the turn at the 200 papa bear two meters in front traverse low bell running a race getting out now is dolomint making ground followed by von trapp at the hundred though papa bear just in front by a meter traverse low bell is trying very hard but papa bear packing too many guns near the line and papa bear leads all the way wins a meter to traverse low bell dolomint third von trapp close up then rolls and rolls grain store fly disappointing Cloudy range in behind them from Billy Billy, then Melloray, and one of the last in was Tough Delivery. K711 okay, and 3 there on uh, race number one at Mooney Valley. Uh, number Road Affair running the Tate favourite as they reach the release point. Set, there's the blue light, they're off and racing. On the inside, Classic Grant got the best of the start. Torrid Affair, not the best away. Share value showing great speed soon after with the start, and also quickly away is skipping clear. BB's looking for an early lead. Followed further back on the outside by Rogers Ramjet as they go to the first corner and motoring Motti is coming across from out deep. Settling behind them out Chelsea Square and a fair way back to Flashwood Trick and last of all is ba Valley's Babe. 
up towards the home quarter the first time. Skipping clear finds the lead and immediately drops anchor, slowing them right down. Classic Grant in second spot and motoring Motti moves up on the outside. The first without cover as they come into the straight to get the bell. Share value lands with the one by one on the outside of the favourite Torrid Affair. A length further back to Rogers Ram Jet in the running line on the outside, followed by Flashwood Trick and last of all is Valley's Babe. They've got the bell now as they go by the judge. One circuit left to travel and skipping clear is just lobbing along in front. Now they take it on. It leads by a length and a half to Classic Grant. Motoring Monty is the first without cover. A length away on the inside is Torrid Affair, followed further back by our Chelsea Square, and then came Share Value as they run towards the back. Rogers Ramjet, second last, Flashwood Trick, and Valley's Babe last. Up the back they race. They've got about 7.50 to go, and now they start to quicken up. Skipping clear is the leader. Moving up second on the outside is Motoring Motti. Going three wide as Share Value to join in the fray, followed by Classic Grant. Torrid Affair popped off the fence. There's only one horse behind them now as they race up towards the top corner. Rogers Ramjet starting a run on the outside, and then out Chelsea Square as they pack up inside the 400. Oh, there's trouble. And the favourite got a very bad check. Torrid Affair dropped right out of it. It's three lengths last as they come to the corner. Skipping clear is the leader. Motoring Motti into second spot. On the outside, Classic Grant about to join in, followed by Sheer Value. Skipping clears under the whip. Motoring Motti is trying to run it down. And right down the outside, Classic Grant with a great run. Classic Grant swapping them out deep, and Classic Grant got up to win. Classic Grant first, Motoring Motti I think held on for second. Tight third, Skipping Clear and out Chelsea Square, followed by Valley's Babe. Then Rogers Ramjet, Flashwood Trick, Forget Torrid Affair ever started, and Share Value at the tail of the field. To 1.7, they've climbed. They're all set. Green light, bunny up to the boxes, ready for a start, race two. Set, racing. Nambia Bale didn't begin terribly well, and winning the start, Patricia Dawn, joined by Jessica Bale, and Fiery Dom is out wide. Fantasy Dancer in the middle as they fan out of the straight. Courtney Bale moves up along the fence. Nambia Bale, eight wide out of the straight. Fantasy Dancer yielding ground, followed by Patricia Dawn, and three last was Old Pardon. At the top turn, Jessica Bale has raced away, out by three. Second, Admiral Sam, who's closing. Two lengths, third was Courtney Bale, followed by Nambia Bale, and also Fiery Dom in the straight. Jessica Bale in front, challenged by Admiral Sam, the outside Admiral Sam. Sam takes a little and Admiral Sam by a half length. Admiral Sam first, Jessica Bale second, Courtney Bale third from Nambia Bale, Patricia Dorn, Fiery Dom, second last fantasy dancer, and last of all was Old Pardon. Okay, check those 613. Thanks, right on right. Sure. On the license, see the new Mark Hotel Port Adelaide. The great cow lunches, best in the port, I reckon. Cold beer, batting for sillies on the TAV. My name's a strangler. Come in and have one with me. Racing, Brandy Brother missed it. First out was mixed up. Miss Brandy Brother trying to push through Rapid Rockies on the outside of them. Out wide, Classy Nova, and they were closely attended by Cool Tom around the field. And then a break off to Rude Awakening, Supreme Rocket, Golden King in bother last. Down the back, though, and uh, getting away in front was the short prized favourite. Brandy Brother leads four lengths, Cool Tom. Going to third, Rapid Rocky mixed up, missing a break to Classy Nova. Brandy Brother turned nicely clear, and it's all Brandy Brother, the first favourite's home. And Brandy Andy Brother by nearly eight lengths. Second, Cool Tom. Maybe Rapid Rocky ahead of Mixed Up Miss for third. Behind those, Rude Awakening. And then came a break in the field to Classy Nova Supreme Rocket. Golden King has uh, finished the field along last. OK, check them two five. Stand well, racing. Amber Angel has blown it from one. Next door, Birdswood, Vicky Caramara away well. Mole Flanders away fairly. Kate's Comet away nicely. Diamond Debutante away okay. Rose's Despair gets to fourth and just in behind them now is Risen Star. On settling down, it's Vicky Caramara on the outside drawing two metres in front of Birdswood and they've broken away early by 25 to 30 metres to Amber Angel. Six metres away, Rose's Despair. On the rail is Risen Star, followed by Kate's Comet coming off the fence, then Diamond Debutante and 12 to 
15 metres away, Mole Flanders. Well, Vicky Caramar on the outside now gives up the ghost, and Birdswood in front by six metres to Vicky Caramar. Two circuits out of the 1800. They're 30 metres in front of Amber Angel. Rose's Despair works up to be fourth without cover. Then Risen Star. Kate's Comet has the trail, followed by Diamond Debutante, and 12 metres away, Mole Flanders. 50 metres had covered the field out of the straight at the lap and three quarter. Birdswood in front by six metres to Vicky Caramar. They're still 25 metres in front of Amber Angel. Then Rose's Despair on the outside of Risen Star. Kate's Comet doing it nicely early. Trailed up by Diamond Debutante and 12 metres away, Mole Flanders. At the lap and a half mark, it's still Birdswood on top by five metres to Vicky Caramar. And even this far from home, you couldn't really imagine the pair up in front to keep on going. 15 to 20 metres away, third Amber Angel. Four metres to Rose's Despair. She's worked in the run. Every possible hope for Kate's Comet on the outside. Then Risen Star. Six metres to Diamond Debutante. And still 10, 12 metres away, Mole Flanders. Still about 40 to 50 metres had cover leader to last at the top of the straight at the 1100. And Birdswood really flying in front by five metres to Vicky Caramar. 15 metres away, third Amber Angel. Four metres to Rose's Despair. Then Risen Star on the fence, followed by Kate's Comet. Second last Diamond Debutante. And for the First time in the race, Mole Flanders tacks up and pulls to the outside. Still 30 metres had cover the field. Out of the straight at the 800. Birdswood leads Vicky Caramar by four metres. Only eight metres away, third Amber Angel. Roses to spare working, fourth on the outside. Then Kate's Comet poised on the outside of Risen Star. Diamond debutant second last and six metres away. Mole Flanders again dropped out to the tail. At the 550, down the back, it's Birdswood. Under a lot of pressure, joined and shaded by Vicky Caramar on the outside. They're both under sufferance. Amber Angel comes one off the fence. Roses to spare pulls out three wide. Trailed up by Kate's Comet. Then Risen Star. Diamond Debutant second last and Mole Flanders back on the rail as last. On the home turn of the 250. Birdswood gone. Vicky Caramar under pressure. Leads Roses to spare by a metre. Now Kate's Comet pulls to the outside three wide. She's starting to gobble up the ground with Diamond Debutant. Then Risen Star followed by Mole Flanders but Kate's Comet hit the lead at the 150. She kicked and found four metres Diamond Debutant boxing on, then Risen Star. Kate's Comet in front of the 100. Diamond Debutant lunging on the outside. Kate's Comet clear, perfectly driven, and Kate's Comet wins two metres to Diamond Debutant. Risen Star third. Amber Angel close up, then Mole Flanders knocking up Vicky Caramar. Roses to spare second. Last and last in, of course, the early leader, Birdswood. Seven, eight, and four there. Race two at Mooney Valley. Ready for race three. They're set. Ready for the Lawson stake. Third event of the night. Off. Beginning well was Lawrence Luck and also Pop and Jay. Soon after, Lawrence Luck went straight to the front. By a length and a half on Astro Bale. Second, third, Pop and Jay from Ballygo Beauty. And one went via the K bar to the straight. It was Big Bear Janice. What a report midfield from Good Time Idol. Raindrop Kid second last and last on the fence. Pop and Jay at the top turn. Lawrence Luck a length in front. Pressure applied by Astro Bale. They're five in front of Ballygo Beauty. Third from Big Bear Janice. What a report and Good Time Idol. In the straight, Lawrence Luck in front. Astro Bale trying hard. Ducks back to the fence, but Lawrence Luck holds on. Lawrence Luck by a half length on Astro Bale. Second, third, Ballygo Beauty from what are reported also Big Bear Janice. Good time idol, Raindrop Kid and one of the last ones in was Pop and Jay. Five minutes before Brisbane in the first race there. And uh... arriving at the release point, the blue light comes up and they're racing and City of Lights fired out towards the inside and Steady On is showing pace as well. Out deep on the track, really motoring began nicely, followed by Pop's mate. Easing out behind those is Shoshone Gold, followed by Master Paulsborough. And after galloping in the score up, Dixie Salute trails away a distant last. Coming up towards the home corner the first time. He's keen to lead on City of Lights, but Steady On pokes through on the inside to join it. They're about a length and a half to really motoring. He's finally found the fence on City of Lights. Pops made next on the outside, and then Shoshone Gold. Fair way back to Master Paulsborough and Dixie Salute last. Into the straight and down to the judge. One circuit left to go and City of Lights on the rails now. Leads by a length and a half to Steady On. Really motoring as the first without cover. Followed by Shoshone Gold and then Pops Mate. Master Paulsborough back second last and Dixie salutes about to tack on. By the judge, one circuit left to go. City of Lights, the last start, Harold Park winner. Leads out of the straight by a length and a half. In second spot is Steady On and really motoring. Closing the gap on the leader moves up on the outside. Right behind it is Pops Mate followed by Shoshone Gold. Master Paulsborough and Dixie salute last but only about 20 meters off the lead down the back they race 
at the 750 metre mark and the leader is City of Lights by a half to really motoring starting to put pressure to the leader now Pops made in third spot and then came steady on Master Paulsborough next to the outside and then Shoshone Gold and Dixie Salute last as they head by the 400 metre mark on the top corner and really motoring's almost level now with City of Lights a length and a half to Pops mate who's travelled well in the run Master Paulsborough also putting itself out of the picture followed further back by steady on and then Dixie Salute up to the home corner City of lights and really motoring they're going stride for stride they straighten up about two in front of pops mate master paulsborough is coming down the outside with a strong run city of lights kicked city of lights at the 100 leads by a length master paulsborough's closing fast on the outside oh he's flying master paulsborough and he's got up in the last stride to win master paulsborough from really motoring then city of lights followed by shoshone gold pops mate steady on was well back second last and uh, last in was Dixie Salute. Super factor there, nine, seven, and three. And uh, we know that Dixie Salute was the one that. The Secunda out. came out very quickly. Kim Bolton run on the fence began well and went to the lead. Benson Boy second. Secunda easing now and is third. Wipe off fourth and deep going into the first turn. Then the eruption. Skinner's regret. And Alpine Affair drops out to the tail of the field. Kim Bolton run the leader at the 1800 metres mark with Wipe off sliding up on the outside to tackle Kim Bolton run for the front. The driver of. Uh, Kim Bolden run quite content to hand up and wipe off takes over. Kim Bolden run settles second. Benson Boy third and then Secunda the eruption. Skinner's regret and Alpine Affairs last. They're an Indian file down the back. Lead time 35.8. It's wipe off showing the way. Wipe off at the 1500 metres peg by two and a half lengths over Kim Bolden run. A length and a half to Benson Boy. The favourite the eruption leaves the rail and slides up to be fourth in the breeze. Secunda on the fence. Skinner's regret immediately latches onto the back of the eruption and Alpine Affair tags Skinner's regret. They're at the 1200 metres peg and wipe off leads the way around the corner for the bell. By two to Kim Bolton run and a length and a quarter to the eruption facing the breeze. Benson bullies on the rail. Skinner's regret sitting on the back of the eruption then Secunda and Alpine Affair last. 31.7 first quarter of the mile. They're rolling past the judge and the red lights. Wipe off two in front of Kim Bolton run and a half length away the eruption sneaking up just a little closer to the speed. Benson and boys locked up on the rail on the inside of Skinner's Regret. Then Secunda and a neck away was Alpine Affair. The 800 metres mark has been left behind. Wipeoff takes them to the back. 30.8 for the second quarter. Wipeoff leads by a length and a half over the eruption and three parts to Kim Bolton run still on the rail. A length away Skinner's Regret on the outside of Secunda. Then Alpine Affair and uh, Ensign Boy on the fence. One of the last as they travel onto the top corner where Wipeoff off leads by a length over the eruption now beginning to close the gap. Kim Bolton runs on the fence needs an out. Skinner's regret right behind the eruption from Benson Boy, Alpine Affair and Secunda wipe off a neck clear on the final bend. The eruption's just about on terms as they turn the corner. They went 28-7 for the third quarter. Let's see how much gas is left in the tanks as the eruption hits the lead. A hundred to go the eruption in front of wipe off Skinner's regret trying hard but the favourites hanging on. Skinner's regret whizzed home at the end too late and the eruption won. Wipe off lasted to run second. Skinner's regret a close up third. Then Kim Bolton run. Benson boy followed by a Secunda and Alpine Affair last of all. 465 there. Albion Park race number one in the yard. They're all set for the second of the night. Checks as the fave. Dark Orchard ready to jump. Racing, Dark Orchard came out fairly. Best out was Avondale on the outside. Uh, trying to push up on the rails at the first corner there was Cranky's tail. Now Dark Orchard's lobbed in behind it. On the outside, Jenny Jr. Gas on very wide. A couple, Gat and Gun, Peelers, Jethro. And uh, back to last dance, kissing after getting into bother. On the corner, the leader was Avondale. Leads from Cranky's tail. Dark Orchard third, Gas on. Jenny Jr. and Gat and Gun. Avondale led. Out after it, Cranky's tail. Avondale, the leader from Cranky's tail. Avondale hangs on. Avondale wins at a neck. Cranky's tail. Garcon got up for third. Then came Jenny Jr. from Dark Orchard. Further back, Gat and Gun. Peelers, Jethro. And it was one of the last. And uh, uh, Dance Kissing was at the tail. Stand by for the placings on the second event. The judge has gone for the photo to separate seven Avondale and one Cranky's tail. <laughs> Hello, my 
my name's Greg Shorten, I'm the manager here at the Torrens Arms and I'd like to introduce you to Springfield's restaurant. We have three menus here for your convenience, an a la carte menu, a bistro menu and a carberry menu that is very popular with people of all ages that operate seven days a week. So if you're in the area, please feel free to drop in, I'm sure you'll like it. Thank you. Ready to run, set, full start. Red light up, galloping on the front row, Benero Bill came back onto Parley Supreme. We'll get confirmation from at Harold Park, in which uh, some of the uh, personalities from uh, various uh, media places were involved. And it was a celebrity trot last night there with uh, Tim Webster, he was involved, Johnny Tapp. Ken Sutcliffe was there, Neil Campton, Karen Pinney, Gary O'Callaghan, Johnny Tapp was there, yeah, Des Renford was there, and uh, a whole heap of others. Johnny Newcomb galloped the whole way around. I was there on the evening and saw Johnny uh, cheat his way through that race. Uh, and he didn't use a whip, he used a tennis racket. I don't know whether that's allowed, but they've just jumped now as we take you to Terry for a little bit of the mini trotters. Never Nevs and the green colours showing a lot of pace shortly after the break too. Now let's look towards the back markers and Tiny Tim stepped away well from his 20 metres mark. Parama D began well from the 40 and further back was Tinker Man, followed by Downtown Brown and a Fraud Squad. Fraud Squad's already run past Downtown Brown who's travelling a little roughly back at the tail of the field. But Never Nevs leads onto the top bend at the 400 metres mark. Never Nevs in front. Aussie Sense runs up into second spot. Followed then by uh, Rough and Ready, who's third on the inside of uh, Farama D, who's making ground quickly. Surfing Spirit further back galloping, and then Tiny Tim, followed by Hot to Trot, and then came Fraud Squad, who's beginning to weave his way through the field. He's still giving them a healthy start, but he's closing the gap on the leaders. Never Nev still travelling well for Juanita Regazzoli on the bend. Around the turn, and Never Nev's in front. Aussie Sense went a little roughly. He's second. Farama D third. And then Rough and Ready. And a Fraud Squad is hooked to the outside. He's running on. So is Tiny Tim. Oh, now the leader's taken fright by the looks of it. The leader's gone uh, for a gallop. And Never Nev's has taken off. Coming down the stretch, he's coming back to a pace now. And he paced past the post. Young Juanita did a good job there, but I don't think they're going to let Okay, well, they had their problems there, but they had some fun as they're almost set now. The retake, race one, Globe Derby, here's Hilton. They're on the second line again this week. Set to go. Race one, 1800, the journey. They're off and racing. Beginning fast was Baker Street. Top mate went out quickly. Benero Bell trying hard to hold the inside and will do so to the first turn. Caught wide, Mr. Director Oriana Skipper gets across in behind the leaders. As top mate is working very hard to get around Benero Bell, the pacer cracker. Just off the pace is Baker Street and Oriana Skipper goes over onto the rail. Then came uh, getting through off the second line, Parley's son. Clear of Mr. Director, back to second last is Parley's supreme and last of all is new kid in town well benero bill held out top mate they haven't really dropped anchor there's a head between them and the pace is still keen as they work off the back with 1250 to go oriana skip is enjoying a lovely run on the leader's back and it's six meters to baker street being reined up by lisa justice to stay in touch then came one out and two back is parley's son followed by mr director the rail four meters away came parley supreme and new kid in town was six meters away at the rear Working onto the turn, they've got 11.50 to go. This favourite's had a torrid run, top mate, or one of the popular elects on the TAB. And it's Benero Bill, four metres to top mate, who's already on a loose rein and struggling. Oriana Skipper's going to get out soon, I reckon. It's having a lovely run behind the leader and 1-1 Baker Street. Now, coming three wide with a lap to go, the first quarter was covered in... Uh, we'll get that quarter for you. It's 28-8, that first quarter. That's flying. Out wide on the track now, Baker Street pulls three wide. 
and going even deeper now, Parley Supreme. Then Mr. Director badly held up the third horse on the rail. Top mate's dropping out. Oriana Skipper's about to get out from behind the leader if it wants to, and Mr. Director follows it. And Will back on the inside as new kid in town. The leader, Benero Bellas, had a hard run, and Oriana Skipper's dead set cruising. It's a metre away on the outside. It's got this leader any time it likes, Oriana Skipper. Three wide as Baker Street. Mr. Director makes ground. Then came a struggling Parley Sun. Very wide Parley Supreme, and new kid in town is badly held up. They race to the 200. Oriana Oriana Skipper under a hold has Benero, Benero Bell by a neck on the outside Baker Street then came Mr Director a new kid in town but on the turn Oriana Skipper is jogging 150 to go Oriana Skipper Benero Bell then came Baker Street and new kid in town making ground down the outside Oriana Skipper goes to the front from Benero Bell new kid in town is flashing home late but Oriana Skipper is going to win and win well. Oriana Skipper by a metre to Benero Bill. Third was Baker Street and fourth was New Kid in Town. Then came Mr Director who had every possible chance to win the race. Well back in the field were the Parley brothers, Parley Supreme and Parley's son. And top mate got caught off the rails and has yeah. dropped out to run last. Yeah, 513, their race won a Globe Derby on the. Likewise, my Chiquita, they go together to the first turn. Third on the outside, Meadow Madness, followed by Inquisitive Miss, and two further back, Bank the Cash. Second last, Hugo Quick, and last of all, Black Cindy. Into the straight, Dawnstar clears out to lead by three. Meadow Madness second, three lengths away, third, Inquisitive Miss, followed by Hugo Quick, and my Chiquita on the inside of Bank the Cash. Eight lengths away, last of all, was Black Cindy, who can't keep in touch. Down the back straight, in front is Dawnstar by two. On second, Meadow Madness, third, the outside, Inquisitive Fish, miss finishing on and two further back to my Chiquita followed by you go quick next was bank the cash forget about black Cindy into the straight though and it's all dawn star racing well clear out by five on Meadow Madness and dawn star a mile too good dawn star first Meadow Madness second third inquisitive miss followed by my Chiquita and also there was bank the cash with you go quick and failing to finish was black Cindy fair enough Rod six four and eight there on race number four now pulls away in the straight. Green lights on. They're set. They're racing. Illinois Lady showing early speed with Guitar Magic, Dr. Sarnell, and also Mac Reedy. Just in behind them now. No hesitation. Followed by the Sandstorm. Chargers can't go the early toe. Traffic Dreams is three out. Four out. Rustic Chip momentarily. Second last is Talk About Luck. And Meadowlands Mick had dropped out to the tail. Guitar Magic works to an early lead by four metres. Off the track is Mac Reedy. Dr. Sarnell in the centre. The leader's back is Illinois Lady. Rustic Chip is racing three wide the center no hesitation chargas the fence five meters away the sandstorm six meters to talk about luck second last traffic dreams eight meters away and a similar distance last eight meters away meadow lands mick halfway along the back and around the outside is rustic chip steadily making ground having little luck in the first 600 meters rustic chip he works out to be second now within three meters of the leader guitar magic a meter back and third is illinois lady mac Reedy with cover now fourth fifth on the fence is chargas two meters away Dr. Sarnell as the sandstorm now pulls out deep. Talk about luck is trailing him. No hesitation. The rail traffic dreams four metres away and eight metres to Meadowlands Mick. Down the straight they travel a thousand out. It's Guitar Magic in front. He's had a nice run by two and a half metres. Rustic Chip has done all the work on the outside and the sandstorm has posted three wide. Illinois Lady on the leader's back. Mac Reedy in the centre. Talk about luck is going home three wide on the back of the sandstorm. Then Chargas locked away on the rail followed by Dr. To Sarnell. Traffic Dreams pulls to the outside on the back of Talk About Luck. No hesitation, second last, and Meadowlands Mick is last and pulling out three wide on the back of Traffic Dreams. At the 650, down the back, it's Guitar Magic narrowly by a metre. Two on the outside, Rustic Chip, and three out the Sandstorm. Talk About Luck will have to pull out four wide. Illinois Lady, the leader's back. Mac Reedy in the centre's on a loose rein. Then Traffic Dreams out three wide. Back in behind them, Chargas, followed by Dr. Sarnell, Meadowlands Mick, and no hesitation. 3.50 out on the turn. It's Guitar Magic two metres in front. Rustic Chip on the outside trying hard with the Sandstorm. Then Illinois Lady. Talk about luck now. Pulls to the extreme outside. Forcing traffic dreams out very wide. Around the turn at the 200. Guitar Magic just in front of Rustic Chip who's sticking on. The Sandstorm under pressure. Illinois Lady between them getting out. Making ground followed by traffic dreams down the outside. Rustic Chip got to the lead. Illinois Lady is the one. She's coming quickly. Illinois Lady. She's flashing home going home two to Rustic Chips one and Illinois Lady has got up and beaten Rustic Chip in a photo maybe the Sandstorm third from Dr. Sarnell, Guitar Magic close up with no hesitation, talk about luck and Chargas, then Meadowlands Mick Traffic Dreams has pulled up quickly and last in was Mac Reedy 
Right, fair enough. It's a photo all round. Let's have a look at now at the Wentworth Park updated mark. Racing, Buena Cello came out only fairly. Trent Michael and also Rene's Choice won the start. Buena Cello to third. Fox Printers along the rails and out deep on the track. V Lyca making ground. A couple to Warren's Flyer and Destiny Guy. Into the back, Trent Michael took the lead from Fox Print Buena Cello. Warren's Flyer was right up behind them and then came two lengths to Rene's Choice. He lost ground. On the inside, V Lyca and Destiny Guy. On the corner, Fox Print's the leader. Buena Cello having a crack at it. It's Fox Print and Buena Cello. Buena Cello got the upper hand and comes away and Buena Cello went on to win from Fox Print. Getting up for third, Warren's Fly, then a break in the field of V. Leica from Trent Michael. Next to last, Destiny Guy and Rene's choice was last. 5-2-6 there. Now Albion Park. Mobile turns the corner. Sweet Sovereign running the favourite. She's been in pretty good form. And the blue light comes up. They're off and racing. Or oh, there's trouble at the start. Going for a bad gallop as Captain Monet right out the back as they come down to the judge the first time. Getting out smartly as Prince of Hanama. Also quickly away was Stacey. Well, what they've done, they've jumped a little late there, Newcastle. So we'll bring you the uh, last lap there. Let's now take you to Globe Derby as the light flashes. Blue lights on.